everybody, it's Cephas. Welcome back to another episode of my playthrough in Thief Gold. Last episode, we tried to save Cuddy from Craig's Left Prison, but uh, he didn't quite make it, so we just got Basso out, but that's alright. That's uh, all we were supposed to do. And let's continue on. pissed at Cuddy for a good while after the prison debacle. But hey, you can't blame him for what the Hammers did to him. So I decided to go after that horn Felix talked about. Not like I had a whole lot of choice, really. The rent is due. And my landlord's even tougher than the Hammers. The map's pretty specific about where the entrance is. Too bad it's not as clear about where the horn is. Felix did some scrounging before he left, and his notes say the horn is in the tomb of some nobles. The Quintus family. Guess I'll just have to explore. Felix, always helpful, also said that the catacombs are supposed to be haunted. I think I'll go make some inquiries about where a heretic like me can get some holy water. Always go prepared. All right, so we're going down in the Bone Horde, and we're gonna search through the Ancient Bone Horde and procure the legendary Horn of Quintus. In addition to garnering the Horn of Quintus, we will find and steal the fabled gemstone, the Mystic Soul, and uh, what use do the dead have for their treasures anyhow? I will relieve them of at least 2,000 worth of valuables. Uh, the Mystic Soul had a sister stone called the Mystic's Heart, also thought to be in Bone Horde. We will find it and make it ours. And then once we have... Okay, for this mission, we are definitely going to want some water arrows. There are a lot of zombies in this place. We have three vials of holy water, and that should be enough. Uh, we'll also get a couple of noisemaker arrows. Maybe just the one, really. We probably won't need too many more than that. We have eight rope arrows, so we won't really need any more of those. And I'm just thinking it might not be a bad idea to stock up on this. missions in the first uh, thief game were outside. A lot of things are kind of indoors, underground, etc. This one just kind of gives you a little taste of what it might be like to be outdoors, but then immediately you must descend into the tombs. Just try to avoid. 
avoid traps like that. I want to save and just be very careful on this rope. Definitely don't want to jump down there. That's just a bit too far for Garrett to jump. He's not a very athletic guy. what the water is actually like in this. I could only imagine. And I really doubt that it would be this clear and that I'd be able to see so much. Nasty, nasty, nasty tomb water. Here's another trap, which is activated by the chests. Just gotta watch out for those. And let's just climb down here. I think there is also a pressure plate here. Just step on it to see what it does. Oh, yeah, that would have ended me. Been quite painful. And now we enter the caves. Down here, it's a different sort of beast. It's called a burrick. And it's basically like a little dinosaur that it burps poisonous gases, so you don't want it to see us or hear us. Just be real quiet. Sneak past him or her. I don't know. It's hard to tell. They all look equally fearsome. <laughs> That's a cute little pig grunt. All right, gotta get out of here. They've spotted me. Oh my goodness. Alright. Run into this cave, because I think there's some stuff down here. Almost everything kind of links up and goes back to the same spot. Though there are some dead ends. Oh, there's some dead bricks. I believe up this way... I was wrong about the mystic's heart, and I will die for my mistake. The ancient tablet I found said that the heart would be in a room of statues, whose gaze is death. But though there are statues here, it's clear to me now that this is not that place. I dare not go back down. The Burks prowl below in numbers, angered at my intrusion. Unless they leave, I will starve in this godforsaken place. Sorry, buddy. Hopefully I will fare better than he did. Caves. And I'll have to avoid this bird real quick. Dodge that poisonous gas. I don't want it. And keep heading this way. I believe down one of these ways. I really thought that there was treasure of some sort, but that's fine, I'm not missing out on too much. They look like they're upset and they're searching, but they could also just be chilled and patrolling. Really hard to tell with these guys. I uh, gotta outrun them. Phew. Just missed that poison gas. Oh! Unfortunately, all they do is belch the gas. They don't actually hurt you physically. 
my goodness. Cool. Although I could imagine their bite would probably kill you with the amount of poison in their mouth. Try to outwit them a little bit. Oh, that's not gonna work. Give me that rope. Alright, let's get out of here. Whew. Just made it. Alright, and this is the way Felix was headed. Looks like he put arrows leading to point him back the way he came. Felix went that way, but we're going to go a different way. And we are going to want to be careful, because the wrong step, I mean, could almost kill you. I mean, if you bump your head on something, that's pretty much it, especially at a fall from that height. This guy, he didn't make it either. Perhaps hit his head too hard when he fell. Felix doesn't care. We've definitely found signs that Adolfo's been here before us. I don't know if you found that fabulous gemstone you always said was here, but if it's still here, it's worth more than that lousy horn of quintuplets, or whatever the thing is called. If I'm reading the signs right, Adolfo was convinced something useful was deep down below the Burke tunnels. Too bad you didn't make it, pal. So basically what that did was, this little way here sets us up to make a more direct route into the tombs. And these are the Burrick tunnels down below that guy was talking about. Some of them. This is another place we have to be very careful with our footing. set. So these bones find uh, limbs and the skull and then you bring them to a tomb where you drop them in and the ghost of that fallen golden skeleton will give you some good stuff. So I'm definitely gonna do that. If I can get out of this. Okay. Ugh, this is probably one of the worst places to be all cold and wet some ancient disease. All these dead bodies laying around. And walking about. And here's another golden bone. Another golden bone, a little bit of loot, and make it out of here real quick. Don't touch me! Ah. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. I think we might have to have a little bit of a face-off here, because it is looking pretty grim. Alright, let's do this. Oh, 
Oh no. The water became unholy. It's a good thing I got lots of arrows. Oh my gosh, there's more. There's even more. Oh, zombie vomit. Oh my god, it's everywhere. Gosh, was that it? Was it finally? Oh my gosh. That was crazy. That was really crazy. So many zombies. The carnage. Ow! Jeez. Okay. Felix, you don't look so good. You sure don't, and there's also a zombie holding your hand, so that's, that's also not a really good thing for you. But, some moldy bread, and what did you have to say? I'm so close. I hear the sound of the horn echoing all around. That cutter, Sutter, he left me an hour ago after Cather blundered into a trap. But you can bet I'll be finding the prize on my own. It seems that I'm not the first grave robber to muck about in these halls. The infamous Adolfo was down here, probably after one of the richer but heavily warded treasures. It looks like he failed, the poor bugger. This part of the tombs is filled with traps, and there's no way I'm plundering some of these crypts. But the horn's gonna be mine, I know it. If the rumors are true, the sound of the horn should be keeping any local burks happy and peaceful-like, with no thoughts of bothering old Felix. My only trouble now be my dwindling supply of holy water. I thought there'd be a font in this area, but I'm blasted if I could find it. And the dead seem to be getting restless about something. Sorry, Felix. Your work will go on. I will find that horn. This is... I know this is a trap. Yep. And we're just gonna move these rocks out of the way. I know there's loot back in here. Just have to make it real quick. That wasn't quick. Well, apparently it was quick enough. Oh, jeez! So that's all you need is a zombie in your face as soon as you turn a corner. Oh, well, that's just the kind of place this is, I guess. I think... I think up ahead... Got a little bit of leg. Some of these traps uh, do cause some slight leg, but now that it seems to be loaded up, I think it'll be fine. And here's what's causing the issue. That is quite the explosion. That's yeah. All right, buddy. Just don't mind me. Just gonna sneak up this ladder here. He's doing a good job. He didn't he didn't see me go along the side. He just didn't know about those little ways, I guess. This is a very dangerous trap. And gotta have good timing. I usually have a route that I go. Ooh, ouch. Okay. Not too bad. A little bit of a zap, but we do have healing potions. I might want to drink that before this next part here. This is also a very dangerous room. And it almost always kills me. Ooh! Made it! Better save here too. Oh my gosh. Oh, first try. Not bad. Oh, I remember this room. That is a haunt. And he saw me. Whew. Good thing for teleporters, huh? 
Well, we now have the Mystic's Heart. You be a good bird guard and just chill right there. Your services will not be needed any longer. Ah. Down the ladder. I'm just gonna slip past this guy. And now we are looking for that tomb of the golden bones. Which I believe is down this way. It's very easy to get lost in this place. It's quite the maze. Here we have the Tomb of the Golden Bones. It's kind of a quest that's sort of off the books. I mean, it's, it's like finding a secret, but at the same time, it's just something unwritten that you, you find those golden bones and you return them to their owner. pieces. I believe I found all of them. Looks like it. Alright. So basically all we do is just drop them on in. And the skull. And now we get some goodies. Water arrow. Fire arrows. More fire arrows some holy water, because we can't have enough of that, especially not around these parts. Let's just get that just in case. Never know. There might be a zombie about. That's a trap. <laughs> Ooh. Is definitely coming to investigate. Son, can I put him out? Sir, you're on fire. You're on fire. Oh, oh, he wants to fight. I don't know if I can handle this guy. Ooh, that hurt. killed him. I might have done it. Well, yeah, all right. That's exactly what I intended. All right, here, we need to have our fire arrows. And got one for each of these torches. some harkenings back to possibly the Indiana Jones where you have to switch out the weight of one object for another. We're gonna try this real quick. That whole part down there in front is a button. And on this is 
soon as we take the stone, these are going to go crazy. So, I've grabbed a corpse part, which I think it's a head, looks like a skull. And I'm just gonna plop that right in there. Take this. Ooh! It still went off anyways. Well, it was worth a try. Maybe it wasn't quite heavy enough. But I did it. Alright. Time to move along. I hear something burning. Kinda wonder. Oh, he's back! He's back and he's very unhappy. He's a very unhappy guy. I mean, he is burning to death consistently. In incessantly. I think I might be able to lose him up here. There's a way to jump across. Whew. And he thinks he knows how to get here from over there, so I'm just gonna keep on moving be the safest thing to do. I think this actually will take us to the Horn of Quintus. Let's go get that horn. I believe that is our next objective. Yes. hear the horn playing, and the Burks, they're just chilling, swaying to the music, calm, hi guys. make it up there. There's a series of ladders, and we'll also have to make a series of very dangerous jumps.
hit by one. Oh, you didn't like that, did you? Literally and, and figuratively, he keeps stopping to look around. I don't know if he just can't get up here. He looks very confused. On fire. I believe there's a good east down here. frightening. watching another episode of my playthrough in Thief Gold, and I will see you next time! And let's check those stats. Looking good. Alright, so thanks for watching another episode of my playthrough in Thief Gold, and I will see you next time.